Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. My name is Dom. I'm doing my project pan update finally. It has been literally since February since I've done this. So um, I just want to give you like some benchmarks of where my products are sitting. I could not tell you how many uses I have in all of these things um, because it's been so long and my project pan situation kind of took like a back seat. So I'm hopping back on the bandwagon to really like focus on these products, especially through you know, we're in August, so I want to power through to the end of December just to see, like, how far I'm able to get with these things. Um, so yeah, let's just, let's chat about it, let's talk about it, let's figure out where I'm at, and let's get to it. Okay, so I'm going to talk about some foundations really quickly because I feel like that's where my focus has been through these projects. Okay, so the first one is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Foundation. I, like, I only have such a little amount of this left. However, I don't use this on my own face. I use this on my mom because the shape does not match me anymore. So I use more so on my mom. So this one is not one that I'm like, oh, I just need to like finish this up like and just like use it. Um, because it doesn't really work for me right now. And yeah, so... I don't like the way that it looks on my skin. This looks better on my mom than it does me, so I'm gonna continue to use this on my mom, but I'll continue to like document the process of like how this is going, but um, yeah, so I like this on my mom, but this is currently where that's at. That bottom line is the most recent update on that product. This foundation is actually not a, a part of this project pan, but I know that it is getting close to potentially being finished, so I wanted to mention it, and it is the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation, and this is where mine currently sits. Um, I've had this foundation for a couple of months, and I absolutely love it. It's so pretty. It's just a really nice foundation, and yeah, I'd be interested to see like how much of this I actually do use, because I love the way that this looks on my skin. It's like the best looking foundation that I have in my collection right now for me, so yeah stuff a lot and I'm definitely going to repurchase this once I finish it but I definitely want to finish up some products this year um so yeah this one is an honorable mention because at some point I will finish it and I've gone through this so quickly so cannot wait all right I've got two concealers and these are just the same concealers that I've been using pretty much all year this is the ColourPop Pretty Fresh um let me show you guys them. Hi. And then I've got my Tarte Shape Tape um, concealer. And that is where that one is as well. So I'll do an update in the next month or two um, if there's enough change per se. But yeah, so those foundation, concealer, Okay, let's do a setting spray. So this is the Makeup Revolution 16 Hour Wear Setting Spray. I don't really like this. I like it, but I don't like it for what it's used for because it's supposed to be a mattifying spray and this isn't mattifying whatsoever. I feel like it definitely gives me a glow. I feel like it doesn't give me that like velvety feel to my face, which is what I'm like looking for. Um, yeah, I feel like this just is good for melding in makeup, powder, to the skin, things of that nature. If you need to respray, like redampen, respray your beauty blender, I feel like this is a good product for that. Yeah. So, yeah, can't wait to finish this one up. Because it's been here, I feel like, forever. Like, I feel like it's taking me so long to finish this setting spray. <sighs> okay. Alright, so now I'm going to update you guys on my ColourPop Super Shock Shadow. I actually really like this one, and I have no idea if this shade is even available though anymore. And it is the shade Cosmic Charge. And it is beautiful. Look how pretty that is. Like, that is so beautiful. It's just like this deep, burnt, bronzy shade. It's like perfect neutral slash warm tone like it is just super pretty like I just love the way that this looks it always looks so pretty on my eyes 
I've been wearing this a lot more recently. Um, so I'm super excited and I do have a little bit of pan in the center. I try to like go around on the thickest part of it, but it's a nice product. It's real pretty, real, real, real pretty. So I love this, it's so gorgeous. Anyway, moving on. Is there anything else that I think I need to share with you guys? Um, there was another setting spray, the final seal setting spray, but I actually moved that into my professional makeup kit because it's not something that I think I'm going to use. So I just moved that into there. And then there was a lip scrub and a serum blush. But those two products I haven't been using at all recently, so... I think for now I'm just going to focus on these products that I mentioned in this video and I will see you guys in the next month or two to give you guys another update. Hopefully you guys like this video. Um, it's not much of, I don't really know, like it's just showing you guys where I'm at. Um, I haven't been keeping up with uses or anything of that nature so it's not super informative but this is kind of like to reignite my project pan. So. Yeah, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Let me know if there's any videos that you guys want to see down in the comment section below. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, friends.